Bark beetles may be small, but they're responsible for destroying millions of acres of forest in the United States. Not only are they major threats to our forests, but these pests will kill trees in our yards and public spaces as well. Bark beetles target stressed trees, boring to consume the inner bark, and spreading blue stain fungi. Either of these will ensure a tree's death, so in this video, we'll show you how to identify and prevent bark beetle damage so your trees can stay strong and healthy for years to come. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about bark beetles, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Bark beetles are tiny pests, with most growing to the size of a single grain of rice. Their bodies are cylindrical in shape, and their body colors are usually dark red, black, or brown. These beetles do have wings and are capable of flight. The wings are protected underneath the elytra when at rest. Bark beetle larvae are pasty white in color with brown heads. They resemble June bug larvae, or grubs, however, the legs are much less pronounced and in some species, unnoticeable. Bark beetles can be found worldwide, with over 600 species occurring in North America alone. Sometimes it's not enough simply knowing that you have bark beetles, but some chemical products can only be used to treat specific species. While it may be unrealistic to learn the names of over 600 different pests, know that each species has a preferred type of tree and preferred infestation site on the tree. Knowing what kind of tree you have on your property can help narrow down that list to just a few species if it becomes necessary. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. You can observe bark beetle activity by simply observing the trees on your property. If possible, it may be worth inspecting trees nearby your property as well. If you aren't currently experiencing bark beetles, this can give you a head start to preventing their infestation in your trees. You'll want to look out for the early signs of a bark beetle infestation. This includes frass, which is composed of sawdust and droppings, and in some trees, pitch tubes. Pitch is a resin-like material that some trees, including pine and fir, create as a response to its bark being penetrated, like how scabs are formed on skin. Pitch production is limited to how healthy the tree is. In cases where an infestation is early enough for a tree to still produce pitch, you may find adult bark beetles pushed out and stuck in tubes of pitch. Another way to check for bark beetle activity is to look for entry holes. Stressed trees may be unable to produce pitch, so the entry holes of adult bark beetles will have to suffice. If possible, you can remove a portion of the tree's bark and you may be able to observe galleries created by the bark beetles. If the adults have not laid eggs, you may still be able to apply chemical treatment. Once eggs have been laid, chemical treatment will be unable to treat bark beetles, which can often lead to the infested tree's death. However, there are still several control methods you can employ that can keep your tree alive. For now, let's go over some signs that may indicate if a tree is dead or dying. Dead or dying trees will still need to be addressed even if you can't treat the bark beetles inside. Be observant of any abnormal leaf or needle loss. While it may be normal for broad leaves to turn brown and fall off every winter, the needles of healthy evergreen trees should stay green all year. Take note if even the needles turn brown. If the leaves or needles of a tree fade from green to brown, starting at the top of the tree and going downward, then that may indicate the tree is dying or already dead. Still, note if the tree fades from green to brown, starting at the bottom and going up, as that may indicate the tree is suffering from stress, making it a prime target for bark beetle activity. Other signs of dead or dying trees include the presence of pouch fungus, which occurs on recently dead trees, or any other signs of decay. Be sure to take note of anything that may indicate a recent, ongoing, or past bark beetle infestation, as these will affect your approach to treatment and prevention. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. Before proceeding, we're reiterating that once adult bark beetles penetrate the bark and lay eggs, chemical treatment is unable to affect the infestation. Keep in mind there are cultural control methods you can employ, which we will go over later in this video. To stop a bark beetle infestation from killing your trees, you can use a chemical application to prevent adult beetles from penetrating past the bark. We recommend you use a product like Silo Insecticide. Silo is a cypermethrin-based product that is labeled to prevent bark beetles in general from penetrating past a treated tree's bark. Keep in mind that certain other products labeled for bark beetles may only target specific species. 
When applied properly, Silo will leave a lasting residual barrier that will prevent bark beetles and other pests from safely landing on the treated surface. For bark beetle control, you can apply a 0.1% emulsion of Silo insecticide. This can be achieved by mixing half an ounce of Silo with about one gallon of water. We recommend you make this application with a one gallon handheld pump sprayer. To mix your solution, first fill your sprayer halfway with water. Add your measured amount of Silo into the sprayer. Then add the remaining water up to the one gallon line. Close the sprayer and shake to ensure an even emulsion. Pump the sprayer a few times to produce a low pressure spray. Spray the bark of the tree where bark beetles are expected to invade. Remember that different species may target different spots on the tree. These spots can include the lower tree trunk, the mid tree trunk, the upper tree trunk, the tree's branches, or even small twigs. Be sure to spray the bark thoroughly, but not to the point of runoff. When applied properly, bark beetles will be unable to infest treated trees for up to 90 days under normal weather conditions. Pests that come in contact with Silo's residual barrier will have their nervous system damaged and will die within 20 minutes. If a tree is early in its infestation, don't worry. Although a chemical treatment may be unable to reach the adults, there's still action you can take to prolong your tree's health. Some bark beetles will infest the limbs or branches of a tree, rather than the trunk. You may notice individual branches slowly dying rather than the entire tree. If this is happening to you, then we recommend regular pruning of infected branches. This will remove any unappealing foliage from your property and more importantly, stop the spread of bark beetles within the branches. If your tree is stressed for whatever reason, it will need to be addressed quickly since it's become a prime target for bark beetle activity. Stressed trees will be unable to produce pitch or otherwise recover from pest damage. Reasons for stress include shade from nearby trees or improper watering. If nearby trees are casting too much shade, the target tree will not receive enough sunlight to grow properly. Simply trim back overgrown branches from other trees. If stress is caused by improper watering, then you'll need to adapt appropriately. Different trees have different watering needs. When applying water, be sure to deeply water along the root's outer canopy. Do not water near the trunk, as the moisture may build up and attract pests or fungi. Dead or dying trees on your property will need to be removed, especially if they've died from bark beetle activity. Dead or dying trees contain the next generation of bark beetles, which will soon spread to more trees nearby once they emerge. It's recommended that you dispose of these trees by burning them or grinding them into wood chips or mulch. Both these methods will kill any beetles or larvae still inside. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. Keeping up with your silo applications is key to preventing bark beetles from infesting your trees. Remember that silo leaves behind a residual barrier for 90 days, so we recommend you spray quarterly for full control year-round. Additionally, continue to address any stress factors that may be affecting your trees. Whether it's shade or water, your trees need to stay healthy in order to fight off pest damage. Pitch is often the first response and a good indicator of the start of a bark beetle infestation, so it's essential that many trees stay stress-free to produce plenty of pitch. Finally, there are other ways to promote your tree's health to help keep pests away. You can apply mulch around the base of the tree to improve its growth. Mulch improves water absorption, regulates the soil's temperature, and reduces competition with the surrounding grass, among other things. Fertilizer is also vital to a tree's health. The proper fertilizer will stimulate growth while fighting off pests and disease. Bark beetles are highly destructive pests that can take down entire acres of trees. But there are ways to control and prevent an infestation from going out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop bark beetles from infesting your trees, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.